Okay, so naturally, when you do problems like the one we did in the last video, you start noticing and looking for patterns, um, and that can up, often help you do some of the problems quickly if you find patterns that help you um, remember remember certain things more quickly. So, so like again, we always start our angle. Uh, our initial ray is always in the positive x-axis, and we rotate. Now, if if our angle is in between 0 and 90 degrees, in other words, if my terminal ray ends up in the first quadrant, then what you probably what you will probably notice is that this distance is always positive, right? That's a positive x value, and that's a positive y value, and the radius, right? The terminal ray that that distance is always just the distance that you are from the center of the circle. So this is, the, the we're, we'll call that the radius since we're looking at a circle. That's always positive. That's always positive. So in fact, we'll just go put a plus on all these pictures. It's always positive. And so what you'll notice is you can make some generalizations without numbers. If you're in the first quadrant, the sine of the angle the cosine of the angle and the tangent of the angle, well, they're all positive because sine would be opposite over hypotenuse, which is a positive divided by a positive, which is a positive. Cosine would be uh, adjacent over hypotenuse, which is a positive over a positive. So that's positive. Tangent is a po uh, opposite over adjacent, so it's positive over positive. So all the trig functions, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna jot this down here. You'll see why I'm doing this in a second. So all the pig trig functions are positive in that quadrant A. All the trig functions are positive. If we go to this diagram, okay, if your terminal ray lands in the second quadrant, then this distance is a negative x value, right? This coordinate would be negative x value and a positive y value. And if you look there, if we observe our trig functions, and by the way, this would be angle theta, this rotation. If we land there, then sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so that's positive over positive, so that's a positive. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, it's a negative over a positive. So that's a negative value. And the tangent of the angle is opposite over adjacent, which is a negative. So the only trig function that's positive in this quadrant is sine. Quadrant 3, this would be negative. That's a negative distance, negative y value. And so sine sine, and again this this angle here is theta. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, negative divided by a positive, which is negative. Cosine is a negative divided by a positive. So that's a negative. Tangent is opposite over adjacent, a negative divided by a negative. So a negative divided by a negative turns out to be a positive. So only tangent, only tangent is positive in quadrant three. And then lastly, in quadrant four, if we rotated this angle theta, then uh, this distance is positive. And the y coordinate, or this distance here, would be considered negative. And so, sine of theta, cosine of theta, and tan of theta. Sine of theta would be um, opposite over adjacent, negative, I'm sorry, opposite over hypotenuse, it's negative. Cosine is 
adjacent over hypotenuse, positive divided by positive. Tangent is opposite over adjacent, negative over positive, which is a negative. So the only trig function is positive in quadrant four is cosine. So that's what this this is a mnemonic to help you remember these things. All the trig functions are positive in quadrant one. Only sine is positive in quadrant two. Only tangent is positive in quadrant three, and only cosine is positive in quadrant four. Some people remember this with the phrase "all students take, take calculus." That tends to help some people. Um, by the way, we didn't do the reciprocal ones, right? We didn't do cosecant, secant, and cotangent. Those all just clearly will be the same as their reciprocal partners. So if sine is positive in quadrant one, obviously cosecant will too, because the numerator and denominator would just flip, but the values would still be the same.